Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! World 8 is the final world if you don't unlock 9 and 10 there as you can see. So this is like the final test for you get to getting a gold crown before you have to get a ridiculously hard gold crown in World 9 if you want to unlock World 10. World 8 is no doubt going to give me a lot of trouble. <laughs> I don't remember all the feel that I have to have to beat some stages. Like this one, I must work against the slopes, and no, that wasn't too bad. I believe the second one, though, is more intense as you go. Don't go a little too fast. Good. Very good, actually. Music is awesome in this level, by the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that worked out nicely. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked out as good as it did, because that could have gone a lot worse. You'll notice that I just barely got inside that goal ring there. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, uh, I want to take the lower route, okay. This one isn't that hard from what I remember, you just have to roll right across the moving platforms, but the moving platforms are like super large. It's like, how do you fall off of those things? <laughs> Uh, I guess the other pathways, if you want to take them, have more bananas. I guess that's the appeal of taking the other paths, but you really want to conserve lives, especially this when you're you know, like when you're trying to get a gold crown or something like that. Unless you want to gain lives by getting bananas or something like that, which I guess is a viable strategy as well. Um, on this one, it's a it's a ring maze. As you can tell, you can't jump up to the higher platforms, so you can't take any shortcuts up to the goal. Uh, but you do have to take a very specific path to get to the end. Pay attention to the routes as you go, so you can tell if you're going to be led into a dead end or not. Um, like, I'm going to skip certain bridges as I go. Like, I'm going to skip this one here, because that leads to a dead end with just a couple bananas. Um, don't go right there, and you have to go back down. It's it's a maze that is designed to run you out of time, not to throw you off the course. And you just go up here, and I believe the goal ring is there. Yep, no problem. It's not that hard if you know what to do, but if you don't, you're likely gonna get lost and run out of time your first couple of tries. Oh, this one. These boost arrows, most of them will kill you. <laughs> well, they'll, they won't kill you, they'll knock you out of the course. Oh, you don't like that! <laughs> and you have to try and control your speed, if at all possible. It's a very tricky stage to get the feel down. This first two right there aren't hard to do, hard to get past, but this one here right needs a little control. There we go. Um, yeah, these are gonna kill you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I don't want to touch that, I'm sure. Wait, I need this one to get up the slope! Whoa, how did I control my speed there with the jump? I have no idea, but that worked out marvelously. And yeah, these are all gonna knock you off the edge if you dare hit them. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my, oh jeez, oh my. Um, if I hit that one, I'm gonna fly over the goal, aren't I? I have to jump just in front of it! Yeah! Okay, that wasn't as bad as I remember it. I think I've said that about a lot of stages lately. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, this bonus stage is kind of fun. You get inside it, there's a banana up there, just get that in midair, and what you want to do is go up these boost things in alternate order, like go in opposite ones at a time so you don't lose track of which ones you've already hit, and then try not to collect the bananas at the very bottom so you can tell at a glance which ones you haven't gone up. And that's pretty much it to getting all the bananas in this bonus stage. What's fun about it is that you're pretty much flying all over the place and that you actually have to focus on control for once on a bonus stage rather than just randomly collecting bananas. Now, I suppose there's that one with the tilted platform that made you t take a notice of your control and stuff like that. Three left? Where am I missing three? I went up all the things and... Um, I must have missed a banana somewhere as I was going up these boost things. Because I'm not, I don't, I'm not seeing it anywhere. I, I should say I'm not seeing them anywhere. Ah, whatever. I went up each and every one. <laughs> it's, they're probably like around the edges or something like that. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Um, this one just looks like a slow, well, not slow one. It is a careful 
walk across these platforms, these light, gentle curves. But there's of course a time limit, so you probably want to go fairly quick if you can. Don't lose control though, obviously, otherwise you're going to go right off the edge. Usually it's going to be the outer edge and not the inner edge. Stairs of death! Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh my, oh, okay, good. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Again, I said that again, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> um, oh, these things have those spinny thingies. You can jump to that platform if you dare to get that banana bunch. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Especially since it's probably going to waste more lives than it would otherwise, you know, just avoiding it. Um, uh, do I want to just, like, go across it? Yes, I do. Oh, don't hit that! I said not to hit it. Uh. Dragon! No other choice. You know what, I'm gonna try getting that banana just for the fun of it. Maybe it's not that hard to get. Okay, that's not that hard to get. <laughs> I just looked at it again, and it just seemed like it was... It was like I could control it. What? Why is... So laggy? <laughs> it's kind of weird there. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh. I'll get it eventually. Trust me on this. I think that last one that you see up way at the top is a moving one. Now, and uh, by the way, once you collect a banana, you can't recollect it on the same stage unless you restart the game, so... Yeah, you can't, like, collect banana bunches to grind for lives or something like that on stages that you're good at. It's a uh, balance of the game, I suppose. <sighs> Whoa, don't hit that! No, no! No! Uh, Alright. <sighs> Getting... chest pains from stress. <laughs> Okay, calm down. I believe I want to use that to get across. Good. I don't think I can just make that jump normally. Like, if I were to try jumping over it. Um. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, no surprises. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to, like, jump over something as I got over that... Over the horizon of that slope. Oops. Number seven. Oh, this is the rolling ball stage. Where you're in this slope of sorts. I'll show you once I get down there, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get onto the platform, Mimi. So you just continue going down here until you get to the very, very end. Don't touch don't go on the left wall because you might actually get knocked off because of this little border here. It can sometimes push you off if you're going too fast. Anyway, here's the balls. These balls are balls. <laughs> if you're jumping over them and you jump too late or too early and hit one, you'll, whoa, likely get knocked off the edge. Only I got really lucky there. <laughs> um, whoop. I'm just going to get over here right away. Yeah, and there's our ball dispenser up there. Um, oh, this is a twist. Angle yourself towards the right. Ah, that's why. I didn't ang myself. <clears throat> angle myself towards the right enough. And now I have to restart it from the beginning. That makes me so sad, I did so well. <laughs> All right, I guess the stage wasn't too bad. Yeah, I said it again this time on purpose though. <laughs> Just gotta be mindful of my moves. Try and jump, whoa, whoa, whoa. Try and jump in the middle, ah, of the slope of that, whatever you want to call it. It's like a ball slope thing, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the heck word I'm looking for here, but tr why you want to try hitting the middle on when you do your jump is because if you hit the edge, you'll probably likely lose control because it's sloped, and yeah. That, that should be pretty obvious, though, if, since you've got this far into the game. Uh, yeah, because you might actually get like lose control and get knocked off by a ball. I shouldn't be going too fast. These aren't very uh, spaced apart. If I go too fast, then I'm going to be hit, get hitting the ball that's rolling behind another ball, and that'll be an issue. Alright. Now, angle towards the right, like that. Good. This pleases Justin very much. Final stage. And you want to aim... See that platform in the middle of all those little planets? You want to aim for that one. You you want to try and not touch any planet as you aim for it. That's how you get consistency on this level. Jump hard and far good. That's exactly what you want to do. Now for this last one, you actually do have to jump on the planets. 
but the reason why you want to try and skip all the planets is just so you have some consistency in this level. Alright. Yeah. Awesome sauce. That worked out so well. I hit the planet at just the right spot. I want to aim for that green spot. Okay, boss. Yes, it's actually him. Finally him. As I said, this was... Nor I mean, this is normally the end of the story mode, aside from the secret stages. And needless to say, he is the final boss. There is no more bosses after this. And... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I believe you have to try and jump over his claw while hitting his butt. Obviously his weak point is his butt. I mean, that is the sensitive spot for monkeys. And what what is hitting me as I'm hitting the ground there? Is there like some sort of pole or something like that? I don't know, but I hit... <laughs> Alright, what you gonna do? Oh wait, you're gonna slam the ground, aren't you? Yes, I remember that! Oh, poopers! Oh, poopers! And hit up, hit... Hey, he's gonna try spinning around again. Hey, wait, I can just sit right, right close to him to avoid his attacks? That's... Well, at least some of his attacks. Not that one, though. I don't know how to dodge that one. <laughs> I should say I don't remember how to dodge that one. I gotta watch his arm movements and see if there's any safe spot. Like, it, for all I know, it might be right in the middle. Because he might be just swinging his arms randomly on the left and right side of me. Mm. Oh, that could have knocked me off if I was in front of him. Alright, what are you gonna do? Now, if I stand here, am I safe? Yeah, I'm safe from his attack if I just stand there. Huh. So I guess the trick is to be, like, right up close to him? Hit, 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 hit him in the bum bum. There we go. Okay, what you gonna do now? You gonna try slamming? I know I'm safe over here. Well, how did I hit him? Maybe I hit him in the balls instead of the butt. That would be a rather powerful thing to happen. I mean, whoa, wow! <laughs> did not expect that. He slammed the ground and pushed me off to the outside, if you didn't notice that. Okay, so he changed his pattern after three hits. But for the first one, I can just yeah, I can just go right into there. Okay, so most of his attacks in the first three hits can just be dodged by going right underneath him? Woo! <laughs> I got a little greedy there and tried to go underneath his legs for a hit again. I think that's how I hit him. It wasn't actually his balls, it was... Just me hitting his butt from the front. Just like when I hit the uh, octopus from the front somehow. <laughs> and I have no idea what the what the heck this guy's name is. They didn't they never really clarified these guys' names. Unless it's like in the instruction booklet or something like that. <laughs> I I admit I do not read game instruction booklets unless I am really, really, really bored. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is gonna give me a lot of trouble, isn't it? I am having trouble getting this pattern down for sure. Hit his butt. Yeah! And... Roar. Start slamming. No, 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 don't push, don't push me, don't push me. I guess he's a little bit tricky at the front there. I mean, more tricky than I thought he was at the front because... I mean, when you're close to him, because his body tends to push you off the edge. And I just noticed that I beat all eight levels without using a continue. That That's pretty impressive, I have to say. Not to brag, but World 8 is fairly tricky. <laughs> uh, 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 no, 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 no! Uh, it's like once you get caught in that claw, he just, just throws you right off the edge. But it's definitely safer to get close to him to dodge his claw rather than attempt to... Um, like jump over it, or at least that's what it feels like to me, because he spins around so fast that dodging his claw just seems a little lopsided. <laughs> and it seems like he acts like he taps you as well as you're going around. That that accounts for the slight loss of control as you're jumping over his claws. And I'm going to try and safely move myself behind him, hopefully. Uh, do your big slam. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely easier to stay right under his legs. I really wish I remembered how I beat the- Oh, I could have hit him there! Because he went- I went underneath his legs somehow. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened, but I wasn't ready to react to it. You can tell that you clearly can't get under his legs under normal circumstances. 
and strangely you can hit them when you normally shouldn't be able to hit them at other circumstances. Oh! That works very well. Okay, go hit him, hit him. Yep. Get up. Oh, I think I found the technique. Maybe that's it. You gotta wait until he stretches himself upwards. Oh dear, oh dear. Now I want to get... No, I almost hit him there. I almost hit him there. Oh! Yeah, you still definitely want to stay underneath him. All right, I'll figure this one out. I promise you I will figure it out. Well, figure it out again. Obviously, I've beat this game before. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be been able to unlock World 9 and 10. I believe, actually, when I was trying to unlock Worlds 9 and 10, the boss was the thing that gave me the most trouble in World 8. I mean, sure, some of the stages were pretty hard to get the consistency down on, but this guy is pretty random. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get over to his front. He's gonna roar. Now I try to get under him as he... Yeah, that works great! No. Okay, sort of. <laughs> Do not jump as he's roaring at his butt being in pain. Otherwise, he'll push you off. Okay. Lesson learned. Getting the techniques down. Oh, almost got him there. Oh! Shouldn't have gotten greedy. Should have just waited. Using lives like crazy now. <laughs> That's okay. I wonder how Gongong Gong would fare against this guy. Because Gongong Gong is huge. I don't dare try this with Gongong. Gong. Oh, dang it, I'm getting greedy again. <laughs> yeah, 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 warning, 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 warning. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I should be starting to cut some of this stuff out. How, why, how did I get caught under there this time? Was I not close to him? Like, close enough to him? Ah, whatever. I'll just chalk it up to an oddity. oddity. Eh! Good! Now turn around and roar. Good. Get- Oh! Almost could- Almost hit him there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, he really knocks you far if you get hit by his claw. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no! See, what did he do there that was different than the other times that I was under uh, his legs there? Could you tell? I couldn't tell. Alright, more lag there, wow. Unless that was a... Uh, folks... Uh, loading screen or, of sorts. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, now you're gonna roar. I get under you. And then once you... Yeah, once you start doing your claw smash attack, I am able to hit you like that. I should be able to hit you like that. Um, you know, you're just gonna do your one claw attack. Yeah. All right. Half health. Now he's gonna do oh, jump off. I guess. I don't know what those energy spheres do. I guess they're just trying to throw you off or something like that. Do not get caught. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not being stupid this time. I'm gonna play this one safely. Oh! Oh, that that slope actually helps me a little bit there. And he does that every time he slams. Get, get, get close, get close, get close, okay. Good, whoa, 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 hit, what hit me? <laughs> Must avoid claws. Good. Oh, shockwave. Eh. Hopefully there's only one more hit. Okay, do your claw slam so I can do... No, it didn't work this time! Get under him! How did, how did I hit him there? I didn't even jump up. <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he's jumping up again. That's okay. Eh. Yeah! I took a risk there, but it worked out. Definitely stay under him as much as you can. That's my best advice for you. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. <sighs> How did I ever beat him without using a continue? <laughs> world clear. I was a little off sync there, but doesn't matter. The world is clear. And saved. No credits, please, dear lord, no credits. Wait, wait, new cutscene. Then the bananas rejoin to become one golden bunch once again. No, actually, it is a wheel of sorts. 
Yeah, I don't really understand this too much either. Like, where did the ship come from? This is... <laughs> this is crazy. Where... Did they ever have the ship before? I have no idea. <laughs> wait, wait, that's actually the pirate guy's ship, isn't it? That, that big pirate monkey boss's ship. Unless I'm mistaken. And thus, the monkeys celebrate by sailing through space. Like the lore of Star Cutter. <laughs> and there's the credits. I'm not going to have any high score that time because I had too many continues. I should say used too many continues so my score plummeted. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part anyway. And I will see you in the next part when I start World 9.